Hey everyone, John Chow here for johnchow.com. I'm here with my daughter Sally Chow as Hello. well as Widget Chow. We are here at the San Clemente outlet to uh, charge the Tesla and also check out the weekly calls and coffee happening upstairs. Let's go. Wow, that, yes, there is a giant teddy bear in this car. <laughs> carpool. Yeah, that, that's a big bear. <laughs> carpool bear, for the carpooling. Exactly what it is, that's how you cheat the system. I'm not sure what to make of this license plate. It looked like another full house here this week. The entire lot is filled with cars. Good turnout too. This is a new Tesla Model 3 Performance Edition. It has the, uh, the new motor and the new high performance pack with the Michelin rubber. You can tell a Performance Model 3 from a normal Model 3 by these red calipers and the special Michelin tires. So it has uh, two motors, one in the front, one in the back, high performance rubber, Zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. Quite fast. Looks the same as any other Model 3, however. I mean, I wish they would have added, you know, some kind of, maybe a spoiler, different wheels, anything just to, you know, distinguish the fact that you spent almost $70,000 on this car. And here is the regular Model 3, non-performance edition. But again, like I said, if you were not looking for you know, then don't notice the stuff like this has regular tires, regular brake calipers. You can tell this Model 3 from Performance Model 3. So, I mean, Performance one right there, regular one here. Is that, is that a black edition? All right, check out the the body kit on this uh, 911. Nice. So it's uh, I've seen this kit before. I believe it's a tech art kit. Yeah. So oh wow, nice carbon fiber spoiler here uh, with the uh, the Porsche lettering on there. Yeah, I believe this is a is a turbo. Yeah. It's a turbo with a, a tech art body kit. I had no idea Mazda Miatas were this small until I saw it parked next to a Corvette. <laughs> Quite a difference in size. The uh, Ford Focus Club is like cars and coffee. Focus ST. Uh, Focus ST, yeah. <laughs> I guess there is a club and enthusiasts of the Ford Focus. Oh, punch buggy, punch, punch buggy, punch buggy. Oh, don't punch, 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 punch me. That means she beat me every single time for that. Punch buggy with regular ride height. Slam punch buggy. One. Watch out. It's the evil one. Yeah. We're just making friends. <laughs> Dogs are always welcome at Cars and Coffee. You know, they say a man's best friend is his dog. Well, a dog's best friend is his Corvette. <laughs> now, this looks like a normal Volvo, you know, average run of the mill car. And then you, you check this out. Yeah. Okay, that, that's pretty insane. So, it's turbocharged. I don't know how much power it's making, but it looks, it looks crazy. It's got recall racing bucket seats. And there you go. Turbo brick. Porsches are always popular at cars and coffee. And this is a really beautiful example of the GT3. Nice blue color with uh, gloss black wheels. Very tastefully done. Good combination. And the only downside, it's a PDK and not a manual. Wimp. Oh my God, I haven't seen one of these in like 
forever. This is a lotus, yeah. This is like a classic right here. It's very, very low. And as you can see, you, I, mean, I, would, I would never fit this thing. The seats are extremely narrow. Oh, wow. This is awesome. That is awesome. And next to the Triumph too. There you go, an original Hummer. You know, not, 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 the, not, not, the, not the civilian one, the original Hummer. This thing is wide. I mean, look how, I mean, it barely fits the parking spot. Holy crap, look at that. And it's, I yeah, I like it. <laughs> I mean, where else would in environmentally unfriendly California would you find this thing? Oh, beautiful. The Jaguar E-Type. The predecessor to the Jaguar F-Type. All right, sign. Get, get rid of it. There's a car backing up. Gotta watch out for the dogs when they're moving cars around. And yeah, so this Fair Lady Z, it is, a, I believe it was in America, when it came here, it's a Datsun 240. But uh, this one is right-hand drive. It's imported from Japan. So in Japan, they call it a Fair Lady Z. Cool. And next to a slingshot. And then we have the, uh, the really drop-dead gorgeous Jaguar E-Type backing up. It looks like a, what's that thing called? It looks like a Cobra. Okay, yeah, it's an elongated Cobra. That, that's very true. And there we have the uh, Jaguar F-Type. This is basically uh, after that V-Type was concluded. So this is what they created afterward. Sally is taking a picture of the Corvette Stingray. <laughs> I think whoever owned this uh, hot rod is a very, very tall person because uh, he's got no roof. There you go. It will fit me because my head would just stick out of this thing. Yeah. You know, like, I'm glad it has the five-point safety harness because I would feel very, very vulnerable in this thing. Very vulnerable. Speaking of F-Type, there's another one. Oh, check it out. A Callaway Corvette Grand Sport. Yeah. You can tell a Callaway from this uh, hood. This is unique to Callaway. And you can't buy it. You know, Callaway sells it as a complete package. The only way to get this hood is actually to buy the entire supercharged engine package. Two beautiful muscle cars right here. We got the Dodge Charger, 440 Magnum motor, and then the, uh, the Plymouth Superbird, or Roadrunner, Superbird, Super B, I don't, yeah, they, they, it went by multiple names, but uh, this used to race in NASCAR and it was real illegal because of the aerodynamic age of the front clip, which no, without the clip, it looks like, it looks like this. But then they added that clip to make it more dynamic or of course that big wing in the back. And then it was banned from NASCAR racing. Hey Sally, there's your Cobra. Does, don't they look the yeah. It does not look like the Jaguar E-Type, Sally. That? No, it does not. Exactly you will start to appreciate how beautiful the E-Type is compared to the Cobra in the future. This is the world's smallest minivan. Yeah, that's right. So there you go. It's a Fiat 600 and yeah, you basically you sit over the tire. And it has three rows of seating. Yeah, that, that, Sally, sit next to it. Show, show how small this thing is. I mean, that give you an idea. The world's smallest minivan. Other than Porsche's, the other big uh, marquee that, that calls in coffee is Corvette. So all types of Corvette here, Stingray, Z06s, uh, C, C5, C6, C7, even uh, vintage Corvettes, so they're all here. Look, Sally, the big army trucks for sale. Uh, only, they're only asking $15,000. Wow, 15,000 bucks. It's almost an impulse purchase, but uh, honestly, what would I do with that? Other than scare the neighbors. The, uh, the Karma Club is here. I mean, not the Karma Club, but Karma, the manufacturer is here, showing off their, uh, their Karma. All right, I'll take one, sure. So the Karma is basically, uh, a hybrid with a solar power roof to help charge the actually no it doesn't charge the battery it powers the accessory like the air conditioning and other stuff there's not enough panels to actually charge the batteries in this car 
So this one's been skinned, wrapped in some crazy ass techno pattern. And this is what it's like if you actually want to buy one. Yeah. And uh, Karma is actually based in Irvine, California. So if I want, I guess I can go down and see them and take a tour of their facilities. Maybe I'll do that for a future episode. Another Cobra and also what people really do at Cars and Coffee. That's right, it's a great networking opportunity. Just sit down, pull up the lounge chair, and enjoy the day. Ooh, check this out. A supercharger. A synthetical supercharger. Not like a typical supercharger that sits on top of the, in the center. This is being driven by the belt. Looks like a turbo, but it's, it's really a supercharger. Vintage Cromel SS with a, a new tech motor. Do you inject it? Nice, you know? Because uh, the old carburetor, all mechanical system way back when were as reliable as, well, not very. This will give it the reliability that it, that it so desperately needs. Two colorway Corvettes in one day. Who would have thought it possible? So yeah, so in case you want to see what it looks like, this is it. The colorway supercharged motor. A nice and polished, 580 horsepower. And uh, yeah, designed by Reeves Colorway. And if, in case you're wondering, yes, same person or same family that controls Colorway Golf and Colorway Wine and Colorway, uh, some kind of God, Colorway Gardens as well. So it's a very entrepreneurial family there. They've done very well for themselves. By the way, if you want to see more cars and coffee coverage, uh, Sally is taking videos and photos for her Instagram channel. So just just follow her at Sally Chow 18 and you'll see other photos and other coverage. All right, so this is the vintage muscle car area. Got Viper, an old Corvette, Challenger, Cobra, Demon. Oh, the Dodge Demon. So this is the, yeah, yeah, the Demon, another Viper, and more punch buggies. All right, we, since there's so many punch buggies at Cars and Coffee, we made, we made a new rule that you can't punch me when you're Wait, one more. and another punch oh no more punching sally we made that a new rule one. no more punching because there's so many damn punch buggies at cars and coffee so here we have a porsche with a beautiful rest me look at me yellow and then a, a 911 with an ugly mustard yellow that says ew ice yeah mustard yeah yeah stick with this yellow avoid this one all right, so we are now at Supercar Road, and oh, we got a beauty here. This is the Ferrari F12. So That's a, it's a Nashua aspirated, I think, 760 horsepower V12. No turbos, no electric assist, no nothing, just all motor. Really, really powerful. Sounds amazing, and beautiful lines, great design. This car was the first car to create what's called the air bridge. So what happened is air goes, uh, so air goes through here, channels under this slot here, comes out here, around here, and then goes back up to apply the downforce. So by doing the air bridge, Ferrari did not need to put a big whale tail on the back to keep the car planted on the ground. This Porsche GT3 does not have an air bridge. And because it doesn't have an air bridge, you got this giant whale tail in the back. Some people like it, some people think that it's, uh, you know, kind of gaudy, a little too much, too boy racer. Air bridge, nice and clean. Okay, continuing supercar road, we have AMG GT with a tasteful amount of chrome and an Aventador Roadster. Wow, Sally like this one, it's white. Yeah, look at that, it's beautiful. All right, Poodle, yeah, I'll get say the Poodle, but yeah. This uh, roaster has a, has either a GMC kit or I'm not sure what kit it has, but it's got a nice big wing in the back just for looks. Doesn't really do anything. It has a big V12 and check out those suspension pieces. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I don't fit this car. If I sit in it, my head sticks above the roof, so if I, if, I, if, I end it, if, I, if I ever end up with an, an Aventador Roadster, I will have to buy the Roadster. I couldn't buy the regular Aventador because, well, I, I don't fit in it. It's, it's, made for, it's made for small Italian people, not tall Chinese people. 
There it is, Sally. The uh, the first. This is the first one I've seen. The ZL1 Corvette. All right. This is actually yeah. This is the first one I've seen on the road. So this is the top of line Corvette ZL1, 750 horsepower Super Corvette, and it's got the full package. Look at the tire, Sally. Pretty much just a racing slick, but that is the tire that it comes with. So if you want to destroy anyone on the track, this is this is what you use because uh, pretty much nothing will will beat you. <laughs> so what's he got? He's got and he's he's got an automatic. Oh, it's, you know, he's got an automatic. They take you out. That's the only thing. He should have got a manual, but hey, you know, whatever. Okay, rounding out Supercar Row, we have the Magnum P.I. Ferrari, a, uh, a McLaren 650, BMW Hybrid, Hyper Dogs, <laughs> and of course the, the 4GT and the Cromel that are always here in the reserve spot, and the Cars and Coffee Girls. Okay, that uh, pretty much concludes uh, this little tour of cars and coffee. If you're into cars, you're into uh, dogs as well. Come on, come on down and check this place out. Uh, every Saturday from nine, <clears throat> every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 here at the San Clemente Outlet in South Orange County. Uh, they do this every Saturday, so come check it out. It's a lot of fun, family friendly, dog friendly, and uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, Saturday night we're gonna go get a we're gonna, we're gonna get a pretzel. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go get a pretzel and then we're gonna. Go home and get ready for dot com lunch. So see you guys next time.